And now, Cameron's Weather Roadshow on NBC26. Good evening, everybody. It is a beautiful evening along the shores of the Fox River in downtown Oshkosh for Waterfest. Just a great evening to come down and listen to some music, and that great weather will continue. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. We're going to see clouds tomorrow morning and then lots of sunshine by the afternoon. That means temps will warm back up into the 70s, close to 80 degrees. We'll see 80s on Saturday ahead of a cold front. Behind that cold front, it will cool down just a bit for Sunday. Speaking of cooling down just a bit, that's what we saw across Northeast Wisconsin today. In some cases, it was more than just a bit. Temperatures right now range from the 70s to the 60s, where the clouds have held tough pretty much all day long north of Green Bay. Afternoon highs only in the 50s and 60s. Right now, it's sunny and beautiful in Oshkosh. In Green Bay, we've got a mixture of clouds and a little bit of sunshine. The temperature is 68, the dew point 67. That's not as high as it was yesterday when the dew point hit 70. 76, but it's still considered humid. We'll see the dew point drop off a little bit tomorrow, and then it's going to shoot back up again as we head into this upcoming weekend. Here's a look at Storm Shield radar showing mainly dry conditions across northeast Wisconsin, but we do have just a couple of scattered showers here across Outagamie County through Brown County down towards Manitowoc, developing along a frontal boundary that's kind of sliding off to the south and west, and we'll keep that chance for an isolated shower in the forecast as we head deeper into the night. You can see we've got a Drop of low pressure located across Wisconsin right now. That was our main weather maker today. It'll continue to control our weather throughout the night into tomorrow morning before high pressure builds in. Underneath that trough with lots of clouds, a taste of fall today. Afternoon highs only in the 50s across northern Wisconsin, but out to the west, temperatures were in the 80s, and those 80s will move in by Saturday. Now, speaking of 80s, our streak of 80s came to an end today. We had highs only in the 60s and 70s, making it the coolest day in two weeks. Tomorrow will warm back up with lots of sunshine everywhere by the afternoon. Temperatures will get back up into the mid and upper 70s. Now, chance for a shower this evening. Cloudy skies for most of the night. Cloudy skies tomorrow morning. As high pressure starts to build in, we'll see lots of sunshine by the afternoon. We'll have clear skies tomorrow night, and then we'll see a lot of sunshine as we move into Saturday. And with a southwest wind on Saturday and that sunshine, temperatures are going to warm back up, back up into the mid and upper 80s by the afternoon. It's also going to be turning more humid just in time for a cold front to move through. And that cold front will kick off more thunderstorms. In fact, we already have a slight risk for organized severe weather across the area Saturday evening into Saturday night. And that means all types of severe weather will be possible across the state. So that's something we're going to have to watch as we get a little bit closer. Tonight, look for skies to become mostly cloudy. We'll have a chance for a shower. Overnight lows will be in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Tomorrow morning, clouds and lots of sunshine by the afternoon. Another great day. Less humidity. Highs will be in the upper 70s. 80s on Saturday. A chance for some late day storms. Maybe a lingering shower Sunday morning, followed by afternoon sunshine. Beautiful weather on Monday. And then we'll heat back up again as we head into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We're going to be on the northern edge of a heat wave, and that means we'll be back in the ring of fire with chances for on and off showers and thunderstorms, and some of those could also be severe. So the mummies are coming up here pretty soon. Here come the mummies. That's their name. They will be up in a couple of hours. We have a band that has already taken the stage right now. Everybody's kind of filling in for what's going to be just a great evening for some live music here at Waterfest in downtown Oshkosh, Stacey. Yeah, it sounds good. Looks like a big crowd out for that. Thanks, Cameron.